Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Michelle Godfrey, a public information officer with the Oregon Department of Transportation Salem office. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Great to see you. Thanks for having me, Greg. My pleasure. So we're here today to talk about the Orgo program. What exactly is that? Orgo is a road usage charge program where you pay by the mile instead of by the gallon. So currently, the gas tax is what uh, funds transportation uh, maintenance and for roads and bridges. But that funding is going to be declining very soon and over the long term as vehicles get more and more fuel efficient. Orgo solves that problem by having drivers pay by the mile that they drive, the actual consumption of their road, versus consuming gallons of fuel. Okay. So it's um, more efficient, it's more sustainable, and hopefully more fair for all drivers because you pay just for what you use. And the true measure of, of how much you consume the road is how much you drive. So mileage is the key um, key indicator there. Interesting. Okay, so I imagine there's been some pushback with a lot of people buy electric vehicles or hybrids to to save money on on travel. Right. And and this way, you know, they might be saving money on gas, but in theory, they they could pay more for this. Yeah, they might pay a little bit more under the road charge, but that's because they're underpaying now because they're not paying fuels tax. Even so, they will save tons more money if they buy a fuel efficient vehicle just in gas costs alone. So we've uh, found in our research that people uh, agree that it's important for everyone to pay their fair share. And even electric vehicle owners, hybrid owners, think that it's reasonable for them to pay a little bit more to make up for what they're not paying in gas tax. So as I understand, there's been declining funding for the program. What, what does that mean for where it's going moving forward? Well, not for the program, but there's declining funding for transportation overall oh, okay because okay. vehicles are getting more and more fuel efficient. Our funding is dependent upon the gas tax. And if people aren't buying gas as frequently, then we have less and less funding to work with in order to keep our roads and bridges in good condition. ODOT has 74,000 miles of roads to maintain. We have 8,000 bridges in the state that we have to keep in good condition. If any of those miles or any of those uh, bridges uh, go out, that could really impact community. It could really impact our economy. So we need a new funding solution solution to make sure that those things don't um, uh, get out of shape and we can keep our economy running into the long term. So just for example, you know, w when your engine car light goes on, you typically take your car into the mechanic and say, hey, what's going on? Can you check sure. it out for me? Well, we want to do the same thing with roads. We don't want them to get into complete disrepair to the point where we have to rebuild them because it costs $1.5 million to rebuild one mile of lane but it only costs $200,000 to maintain it. Hmm. So it, the more that we can maintain without rebuilding, the better off our economy will be and, and the less we'll have to spend. Yeah, interesting. All right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Michelle Godfrey from the Oregon Department of Transportation. We're talking about the Orgo program uh, through ODOT. So what, what has been the public's reaction to it? Well, it's been mixed and Understandably so, because it is a tax program. Nobody wants to pay a tax. Um, however, we all contribute to maintaining the roads. It's just how do we do it such that it's most fair for everyone. Vehicles are getting more and more uh, you know, advanced, technologically advanced. We need to advance our transportation funding model as well. So that's what Orgo is, is it takes today's technology and applies it to transportation funding. You know, Oregon invented the gas tax in 1919. Is that We've right? been using it for 100 years. Didn't know that. Might be time for an upgrade. <laughs> so that's what Orgo is. It's an upgrade. It allows us to measure actual consumption of road, charge drivers based on what they consume, not based on what kind of car they drive. And it uh, allows us to actually make up some of that lost funding because vehicles are getting more and more fuel efficient. Could it potentially replace the gas tax entirely? That's that the, the idea. Okay. However, you know, models of vehicles, some models of vehicles can't uh, work with the program because of the, they're not compatible with the technology. Mm. Um, the vehicles that are, say, before 1990 year model or something like that. But most modern vehicles can. And so we need to take advantage of those technology advances sure. in order to improve our roadways. Interesting. All right. So you're, as I mentioned, you're, you're down here from Salem. You're at the, at the headquarters. Uh, why are you here in Southern Oregon? Well, we're going around the state with a campaign we're calling Keep Oregon Connected. And it's really about what you know this program is intended to do. What Orgo intends to do is to keep us all connected through our transportation system, our roads, our highways, our bridges. If we lose these connections, we lose our communities, we lose our economy, we lose touch 
with everything that makes our state great. So we want to make sure that we're maintaining roads and bridges into the long term. That's what Orgo does. So what is the next step for Orgo? The next step is to start connecting systems to, from state to state. Oregon is the first to do this. We are the first to implement a road usage charge program, but many states are following our lead. Washington has done a pilot, California is, is doing a pilot, and other states even back east are doing pilots. So what we're doing next is to see if we can connect Oregon to the Washington system and to the California system so that we can have seamless tra travel from state to state and wherever you travel, that's where your road charge goes. So if you drive miles in Oregon, you pay or that get, gets paid to Oregon. Mm -hmm. You drive miles in California, it goes to them. It's fascinating. Yeah. And technology, where it can take us. Exactly. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.